Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Thank you for joining me. Today I thought that we would jump from 2D to 3D. Usually I give you 2D tips. Let's do a 3D tip for those of you who are already in that third dimension or thinking about making the move to 3D. I'm going to show you some tips that have to do with a really popular command called press pull. All right, I'm going to show you some of the changes and a really top secret hint that hardly anybody knows about. All right, so um, I have this drawing right here in front of me, this model, and I want to punch these doors through. All right, press pull is a perfect thing to use for that. So I happen to be in the 3D modeling workspace and I can go to the home tab, I can go to the solid tab, whichever is easier for you to do. Um, I'm gonna just grab it from the home tab and here is press pull, all right? Now it used to be that you can only select one bounded area at a time, but now you can hold the shift key down or you can do multiple, that's another option. And you can see I'm grabbing them all at one time and it makes it easier than having to do the same press pull command over and over again, yay. Okay, so now I can either add material or pull these doors out or I can push them towards the inside, which of course is what we want, so that people can walk through the doors, right? <laughs> Easy enough. So that's one version of press pull. Let's go to a different view and take a look at what else we can do with press pull. All right, let's go back into the press pull command and I'm gonna hold my shift key down again so that I can do multiple objects. And now these are open objects. It used to be that press pull only worked on bounded closed areas, but now I can actually select open objects like these lines. And uh, let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to add some material to those. Make those a little bit thicker. Look pretty good, right? All right, easy enough. And right, now I'm gonna actually jump over to a completely different drawing to show you this last part. This is the top secret hint about press pull. All right, so I'm gonna go back into the press pull command. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab this front face. And I want you to see, it works the way you would expect, right? I pull it straight out, works kind of the way I, ex I expect. Really not a big deal. This is the top secret hint. All right, let's undo that. Let's try it one more time. Let's go into press pull. And this time when I select the face, I'm gonna hold the control key down, all right? Let's see how that works. Look at that, that's kind of interesting. Can you see, I'll zoom out a little bit, that it actually tapers that face. So it takes a look at the angle of the object that's already been drawn. It allows me to, to continue that same taper angle as it does the press pull. Cool, that's with the control key. So remember the, the shift key, so you can grab multiple objects at one time. That was added in a couple of releases ago, a few releases ago. And you can also now hold down the control key if you want to do that tapered extrude. All right, very cool. Join me in a couple more weeks for more tips courtesy of Catalyst Magazine, and I hope you have a great rest of the week.